Greetings, Tubia Cons. Uh, I thought I'd get on here and uh, show you what's going on. Well, yeah. Okay. So, let's go see what's going on. There's a dirty Dodge. Not so dirty since it rained on it. There's a languishing Lexus. There's my neighbor's brother's Pontiac. Rusty Act. And there's the Mustang. Of course, there's everything else, too. Uh, well, I crammed it together at the painting of fenders the second time. As you can maybe see, uh, the fenders don't match. Again, yet, some more. Now, I think the fenders are darker than that. Of course, I had to reorder paint, and it's a it's the same part number paint, but it, I guess it's a different batch, and it's a different whatchamajigger, so. The only way I can think to do it is to wash it, wash all the schmutz off of it, and sand it all back down, front, back, inside, outside, everything and do an all over paint job. The reason I tuck the fenders in the front cap off of it is that's the way I was taught to get a good professional job. That way you can get it all the crannies and grannies that you need to. I've been sanding on it a little bit getting some of the orange peel out. Well, there ain't a lick of orange peel on the back on the body of the thing but this last paint when I painted this fender, this fender on purpose, it weren't peeled on me. So I'm busy sanding it out. And it's all got to be done over again some more. The back, the front, everything. Not exactly wanting to do that uh, I'm gonna do it anyway and uh, while the front cap was off I lined the doors to the body they were twisted top to bottom and now they're a little straighter but I found out that it's had quarters quarter panels and door work and stuff because uh, when they welded it back onto the body and onto the door frames they got it kindly twisted so you can line one corner up the top corner up and the bottom will be out or versa vice I, this one's not too bad but I'll show you the other one. Show you all the faults. And these are six. This I know for a fact that this this one here is a 67 fender. They hacked a hole there. That's kind of hacked up, and and it's got a few big weld patches in it. But you follow this line down, and it's got quarter panels cut back about a quarter inch by golly it's got a gap yard there so I guess they saved in metal and uh, it's high on top but the, the beauty line body line matches so one is one of these are shrunk or or big but that ain't gonna bother me now it's gonna be a road car and you know that's the name of that tune you know it's just a uh, just one of them things I'll get to washing the smuts off 
And I'll put a car cover over part of it that I'm not working on. That'll keep it from being filthy on one end because we're under these trees and right now the trees are giving birth to these little tree seeds. And uh, that's just a way to do. And I don't know if I've got room in here. I haven't never painted a car outside. Always had the luxury of a, a paint room or whatever, but I could paint it here in the, out, in the outdoors once I cleaned about a ton of this junk up. And or some more inside here, which is even more junked up. I could paint it in the front half of here, but I can't get the whole car in here to paint. And I don't want to mess with Harold, he's right where I want him. Everything's level body's level the frames level that way anything I do to it I can use that as a line of reference so uh, I don't know there's a car cover big deal put it in the washing machine last night to come out wet so uh, that's the dilemma facing the old man today or from now on probably I don't know let me show you the paint. Anytime you get you buy paint offline, you should be uh, excited about it. Here's the fresh paint. What I bought. Come on. That's what I got to work with now. And that Starfire, all, all the numbers and everything. This is the this paint never did do right. I, I mean, I'm not a painter, but it never did do right. So there you go. This does works a little better. It's it's more like paint than than not. But that's it. I wonder if I got it. I always put this stuff in it. Acrylic enamel, urethane, hardener, wet look. And uh, I usually put too much. But if a little does good, too much does even better. I don't know. That gun is going to be shot and killed. Uh, there's another gun or two in here that's going to be shot and killed. So I'll have to get me a gun pretty sweet, pretty quick. And we're going to go again. But hopefully we'll have a Mustang we can put together and get it out of my scalp. So I can get on to other things. Maybe beautiful things. Now this is, this is good paint. Come from the same place, oddly enough. But... Oh well, different colored red, they said. Sure does match that. Uh, uh, that's about it. Uh, uh, well, next week I think I go for a liver biopsy. Well, they Cut a big hole, it's like having a baby. Cut you a big hole in there and they poke around and find a good piece of liver. They scrape down all the bad stuff and they gouge it in there with a hot red poker and they jerk it back out. And you can watch them, because you're there. They can't do it over the phone, I've talked to them. No, not really. I think they just shoot a gun into you and it grabs a piece and you're done. So. Uh, that's what I'm banking on. However, I could avoid that if I would just give up my Mountain Dew. 
I'm going to eventually have to give it up anyway because the doctor said that's what's that's the worst thing I'm doing is drinking Mountain Dew because it has some kind of a high fructose stuff in it and I've looked around and read on stuff and everything's got high fructose in it so I don't know what's a fella gonna do uh, that's it that's all about all I know of feeling good feeling uh, happy anxious to get this car done and uh do some more, some more better, gooder stuff. And it's only, where is that? It says it's past 80 here. Let me, just pardon me for a minute. I've got another temperature thing here. If I hadn't twisted it out in the world. Jeepers, I don't see it. Can you? Well, I don't know. It's here somewhere. Uh, so, uh, that's the name of that tune. Everything's happy. I'm having great dreams about junkyards and stuff. And uh, the new... Grandchild is sweet as pie. Her cats are scary and dangerous. And, uh, but lovely at the same time. You can pet them as long as they're not going around at your face. And, uh, that's it. Any, any ideas or any recommendations? Got that word right. Uh, of what I need to do, uh, let me know, and I'll be gra graciously appreciated. And uh, I guess that's it. I just uh, I'm just out here in the days. I'm on, I'm trying to unavoid. I'm trying to avoid uh, getting out there with a bucket of water and some sandpaper and giving it the good go. Because not only is that boring, uh, it's terribly not excitable. But it has to be done. And when I get one section done, I'll cover it with this cover so it don't get dirty again. So I have to wash it all back down after I get it done. And uh, I'll just plug in and, and uh, walk down one side. Pull my britches up, and I'll walk down the other side, and uh, it'll be all over red. Red. Er. Red er. And uh, if that don't work, I've got a gallon of dark blue metallic that's fixing to get poured over on the top, and I'll roller it on. Uh, but I had it saved for something else. I can't remember. Uh, Okay, I'm going to say sorry not yet to y'all, and you know I love you, and God loves you more, because that's where it all love springs from. That's how we get the idea and the feeling. And uh, that's about it. All right. Thank you for watching and commenting and, and uh, pointing a finger. This one, this one here. <laughs> okay, bye.